And welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. Donald Trump has just announced that the corrupt DOJ being led by Barney Fife, Merrick Garland, who don't know his ass from a hole in the ground, Jack Smith, the hall monitor who didn't have friends in school, probably went to the prom with his mother. We find out now that they're indicting him for January the 6th. He's been requested to show up for a grand jury. So my question to the GOP and the so-called candidates running to be president of the United States, let's not talk about Mike Pence because all those phony Republicans like Mike Pence, uh, the Mitt Romneys, they're dead. Those dinosaurs have been buried. We buried those cockroaches. Now we got a couple more cockroaches to bury. Nikki Haley's dead, but she's like a floundering fish. She don't know she's dead. Well, how is it that all of these people saying they're fighting for the Constitution, these phony Republicans, have not done a damn thing to impeach Joe Biden? I don't care if he's going to get locked up. Impeach the bastard. Why hasn't he been impeached yet? All of this information we have on the bribes and the kickbacks, and they allow Hunter Biden to get a sweet deal, and they keep begging the FBI and the DOJ to do their damn job. When y'all invite him over there, it's all a charade. It's a game. It's a ploy. So you want me to believe that you can't do anything, but these folks, these corrupt so-called elected officials and the one who's been appointed at the DOJ and the FBI can keep indicting Donald Trump. See, this is why you should know that they fear him. They fear Donald Trump, and they're really going after Donald Trump because they hate you so damn much. They hate the American people. These are the people talking about democracy. Have you ever heard of such a sham going on? I can name case after case after people who done broke all kind of laws, including the so-called president, the nimcompoop, the fellow who keeps falling down, who needs protection, who needs to be told what to do, how to do it, when to go to the restroom, Joe Biden. All the laws that they break, nobody has been indicted yet. And when they do find an indictment on Hunter Biden, this is this milk toast they come up with. And now these Republicans are going back and forth. This is why I got no respect for Ron DeSantos now. How is it that they think that we are in a justice system I don't want to hear that you're going to pardon Donald Trump. If we pick Donald Trump and you allow him to drag him through the mud on these trumped up charges, when we can name 5,000 other things that all these politicians have done, it's far worse than what Donald Trump has ever even thought about doing. So ask yourself, why is these folks who keep talking about the Constitution, why in the hell have they not done anything to Joe Biden or nobody else? Complete corruption. And now, January the 6th, I heard that Ray Epps was suing Fox News. Good for Fox News for being fraud to settle that case in the first damn place. We know damn well what Dominion did in the first damn place. But Fox News and the rest of these rhinos. Oh, I saw, speaking of Fox News, I saw that Jesse Waters' mother called into the show to bash Donald Trump. And he just sat there and took it. Mama's boy. Told you he was a fraud. But here we have another indictment on Donald Trump. They said we got to get him. We got to make sure we stop him because we can't beat him in the poll. Ron DeSantos and the rest of those frauds are admitting there's no way we can beat him. They're just like the Democrats as far as I'm concerned because you're saying that you cannot beat the guy. So you always saying the American people, the American people. Clay and Buck keep telling us that the suburban mothers are the ones are going to win it for DeSantos or this, going to decide this. Well, looks like they have decided. Those suburban mothers that you're talking about, the real suburban mothers, are supporting Donald Trump. Because if they do Donald Trump like this, what the hell do you think they'll do to us? So now we have another indictment. And all of these Republicans, if I hear another one of these fake so-called DeSantos fans call into one of these damn talk shows and tell me how we need to move past Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't the one who did this bullshit. No, no, that's what I said, bullshit. He's not the one who did this. Your corrupt government is doing it. And you guys are a bunch of cowards because you're willing to just roll over. That's why you keep getting bitch slapped. Because you're willing to roll over and just let them keep on bitch slapping you. You ain't got no fight in you. 
They have destroyed law. They have destroyed the Constitution. And you're telling us that we just need to move on. If we move on, they win. If we allow them to take Donald Trump out the race, I don't want Ron to send to somebody else. Donald Trump is the guy that everybody's picking. He's way ahead. And you're telling me that we're supposed to accept the Democrats and Joe Biden picking the candidate. Whatever other candidate pick, if it ain't Donald Trump, it proves that that candidate is corrupt. Because they allow that candidate to get in because they must have a fear of Donald Trump. So I don't want to hear your niceness. When you go to war, war is ugly. Quit telling me how you got your feelings hurt while you're in your air conditioner homes. Quit telling me how you're, you're sick of this right here. You ain't suffered. I'm sick of people telling me they, they're tired of something. Donald Trump is the one that's being doing all the suffering. He's the one that they keep attacking. None of these other candidates could possibly take all of the, 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 the trash that have been thrown at Donald Trump. And he's still talking trash. That's what pisses y'all off. I'm starting to like him even more now. The more these SOBs try this right here, the more I start liking him. Because now I know he got fighting him. I like fighters. I don't like this. We got to be nice. When you're in an all day, you ever saw a street fight? You ever seen a real war? Go watch a war movie. You'll see it's brutal. So don't tell me about somebody getting their feelings hurt. Somebody you don't like tone or something. Grow a set. Quit whining. And that's why we keep losing because you got too many wimps like Mike Pence and Mitt Romney who's technically a Democrat. That Susan Skank, too, is a Democrat. Unfreaking believable.